Joining us now, Florida Republican Congressman Mario diaz Balart. He's a leading voice among Republicans pushing for comprehensive immigration reform. Uh, Congressman, thanks very much for joining us. Uh, so what's your reaction? You basically know the outlines of what the president is going to do. Uh, are you with the president or against him? Well, if I've always thought that we, can, we should do what we can to stop the separation of American families, to help the economy, to have a fair system to folks who are doing things legally and to deal with the folks that are here uh, in a way that adheres to the rule of law. Now, the one who has been saying, and that's why I, a little disagreement with your White House correspondent, the one who's actually been saying that he does not have the legal authority to do that is not Republicans. It's the president himself, who, by the way, we've always heard is a constitutional scholar. So on the details, uh, I may agree, I probably will agree with a lot of the issues, the details that the president will bring forward, but we're a nation of laws. And, you know, we're not a dictatorship. The president has said that he is not emperor, and he therefore said since he is not emperor, he was not legally able to do this before. So what changed between the time when the constitutional scholar, Mr. President Obama, said that he legally couldn't do this, to now where he says that he legally could? And by the way, as someone who does not want families to be divided, if the president uh, who deported, has deported more individuals than any president in the history of the United States, and he said that he didn't have the authority to stop the deportations, and now he's saying he has the authority to stop the deportations, then why the heck did he deport more people than any president of the United States? It's he himself who once again is contradicting his own words. It's he himself who has said that he's going to do something now that he said he was not legally able to do just a few months ago. Here's how White House officials, Congressman, are explaining that that, that apparent flip-flop, because the president, you're right, he did say repeatedly over the past several years he didn't have the authority. He's the president of the United States. He said he's not the emperor of the United States. The way they're explaining it today, and presumably what we'll hear from the president later tonight, is that he didn't have the authority to go ahead and simply implement what the Senate, on a bipartisan basis, passed that went to the House and has just been sitting for more than 500 days in the House of Representatives. You're in the House of Representatives. He can't do what the Senate passed, but he can take certain action on some of the specific nuances, if you will. He does have that legal authority. He says he's asked the Justice Department, the Department of Homeland Security, for a legal opinion to authorize what he's about to announce tonight. And that's the nuance difference. Do you buy that? Well, Wolf, here's the problem with that. My colleague, Luis Gutierrez, one of the leaders of immigration reform and trying to stop the deportations, for five years has been asking him to take executive action. Heck, he even chained himself in front of the White House uh, uh, gate, asking the president to take executive action. This is before the Senate bill was even around. And the president has been saying this before there was even a Senate bill. Look, just like the president said, if you like your uh, health insurance, you can keep it. If you like your doctor, you can keep it. Unfortunately, once again, He's outright lying. Now, again, I will probably agree with a lot of the specifics of what the president is going to bring forward. Here's what's sad, Wolf. The new leadership of the new Congress has said to him that they want to work, they want to tackle immigration reform. I understand there are no guarantees of to do difficult issues. But the new leadership of the new Congress has said they want to do it and they want to work with him to do it. And then all of a sudden, the president said, no, I'm going to do it on my own, even though... As the president said, he does not believe a few months ago that he has the legal authority to do so. It seems to me that, and by the way, this is a temporary postponement. It's not going to solve the issue. We're still going to have to deal with this issue legislatively. The question is, is the president's action in making it easier, uh, more likely to do a legislative, a legislative fix, which we know has to happen, or is he make it more difficult? Unfortunately, I think he's making it more difficult because when the president, who is a constitutional scholar, says he does not have the legal authority to do something as president, and then he does it, it would almost seem, Wolf, that he's purposely trying to create a constitutional crisis. That's not working together. Right. That's not sitting down in a bipartisan way. One, one final question, Congressman, before I let you go back over there. Uh, uh, if the uh, House of Representatives, the Speaker, John Boehner, allowed the Senate legislation, which was passed on a bipartisan basis, to come up for a yay or nay vote, a roll call vote in the House of Representatives. Would you vote personally, just you, in favor of the Senate passed legislation? Well, if there are, you know, I was part of a group in the House putting our own, our own uh, legislation together. There are parts of the legislation that I like. There are parts that I do not like. And asking the House to have to swallow whole something that the Senate did is like saying, well, why doesn't, why doesn't the Senate pass whole what the House has done? That's why that's a little bit of a 
uh, 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 well, you know, question, Congressman, it's, not, what you, it's not a realistic you, question. But you know, the legislative, question. you know the legislative process. You could pass a different version of comprehensive immigration reform. Correct. Then there would be a joint House-Senate conference committee. You try to work out differences. That's the normal Correct. legislative way of doing it. But Correct. the speaker, your speaker, the Republican speaker, John Boehner, isn't allowing that legislative process to go forward. Well, that's not actually, uh, uh, it's not exactly uh, accurate. The, the Senate bill obviously has no legs in the House. That is not getting a vote. That's absolutely the case, and that the leader has been very clear about. A lot of us have been working on a House proposal. As you know, we were very close to be able to bring one to the floor, and then we had the crisis, which was partially created by the President of the United States, the crisis of the unaccompanied children uh, on the southern border, and that, frankly, changed the mood not only in the House, but changed the mood in the country. So that made it, frankly, almost impossible or impossible to move forward. But here's a question. We know, we know that there, this requires a legislative fix. Does the president acting unilateral make it easier or more difficult? I unfortunately think it makes it more difficult, despite the fact that on the specifics, I might like some of them. But again, we're a nation of laws. Look, I may not like certain report, reporters, but we cannot tolerate this administration trying to criminally go after reporters, whether you or I like that reporter or not. That is unlawful. Is this lawful or unlawful? I'm not the expert. You know who is? President Obama, who's a constitutional lawyer, he is the one who has said that what he's about to do is unlawful. So I may agree, and I probably will, with a lot of the specifics, but the president is not above the law, whether it was President right. Nixon or whether it's President Obama. All right, uh, Congressman Mario diaz Balart, uh, thanks very much for joining us. This debate is about to escalate and will continue. Thank you, Wolf. All right, we just